Hey, welcome back to Tech Jungle. In this video, we are looking at the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 paired with an iPhone. I know there's a lot of iPhone users that are looking for a wider variety of smartwatches, and so maybe the Active 2 is something that you are interested in. So the setup process is fairly simple. You turn on the Galaxy Watch, you download the Samsung Galaxy Watch app from the App Store, ensure Bluetooth is enabled on your phone, then open up the Galaxy Watch app, select the Galaxy Watch Active 2, and swipe up on the watch itself and begin in the pairing process. This should take less than a minute. And then once you're done, go ahead and click on a few options like allow access to the calendar and contacts. And if you don't have a Samsung account, I suggest this is where you set one up. It takes less than a couple of minutes to set up. And that way you can get access to the Galaxy store where you can obtain watch faces and apps and whatnot. And then you may get a couple of notifications, one asking if you can access your location. I put allow while using the app. There should be another pop-up notification asking you to allow the Galaxy Watch active to display your iPhone notifications. I click allow because I wanna see everything that pops up on my phone, on my watch. You should also see a brief overview of how to set up your watch if you want to take phone calls. I was never able to get this function to work, but it requires an additional Bluetooth signal. Once you click okay, now you're on the landing page. This is the page that you'll see every time you open up the app. It allows you to customize a watch with certain features and functions. It's definitely not as customizable as the Android counterpart. However, you're able to get a lot of things done to set up the watch and get it up and running. So looking at the notifications tab, you can see that you can receive notifications, block certain apps that show notifications, notifications, turn on the screen when a notification pops through, auto show details, and have a notification indicator, which will indicate unread notifications on the watch. The next tab is for apps, so you can auto update apps, get app notifications, you can view your apps either in a rotary view or a list view, you can auto open apps, there's also an app order so you can do the most recent or you can customize it the way you want so you can have particular apps on certain pages. You can also uninstall watch faces and update individual app settings. I'm not going to go into detail about sound or vibration and display, those kind of speak for themselves. They're similar to the settings that you would have on your phone itself. Going into the advanced tab, here is where you can really customize how you interact with the watch. So double pressing the home key can open up several different apps and settings. You can activate the touch bezel. This is a new feature with the Galaxy Watch Active 2, which allows you to use a digital rotary bezel. You have screen wake up options with the wake up gesture by raising your wrist to turn on the screen or to touch to wake up. You have water lock mode, touch sensitivity, which allows you to use gloves when interacting with the watch. Watch. You have do not disturb feature, theater mode, good night mode. You can edit your quick settings. And the way you get to this from your watch is by swiping down from the top. Uh, there's three pages of quick settings that you can get to. So I'd really pay attention to this tab so you can customize it exactly the way you want. You can get to settings super quick this way. And then the last thing you have on this advanced tab is screen capture. So you can turn that on or off. The next tab will allow you to add content to your watch. Now you're limited on what you can add. You can only do music and images. To add music, you basically have to be hooked up to a computer over a Wi Fi connection. You can transfer songs that way. And then you can also send images directly from your phone to the watch. The next tab is find my watch. Basically you can find your watch over a Bluetooth signal. I was able to find my watch about 30 yards away. So it does pick up a pretty good distance. I would say somewhere in your house, if you lose your watch, you can find it. But if you're somewhere out in a parking lot, Good luck with that. The general tab is very basic. You can set your language, your speech rate, and you can reset the watch. The next tab is for setting up Bixby. So it takes about a minute or two to set it up through the watch. But once you're done, you can use Bixby for setting up calendar events or reminders. You can change the screen's brightness. It can act as your personal calculator. It's very basic at what it can do, but it can get a lot of things done that's on your watch. The last few tabs are very basic. You have account and backup tips and user manual. About watch is a little interesting because you can go on there and free up some RAM or storage and you can also check your battery life and then about Galaxy Wearable it just tells you the current version of the app that you have installed. Now once we're all done with that now we can actually start customizing the watch a little bit further so at the very bottom you have that discover tab so once you click on that you're greeted by tons of watch faces and applications and if you click on view more that's where you can expand the list and just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling so basically this is where I would spend most of my time if I want to customize the watch. There you have it. There's my brief overview of how to set up an iPhone with the Galaxy Watch Active 2. I know there's some shortcomings with this watch when using an iPhone. I'll go into that in a later video, but just wanted to get you up and running so you can start enjoying the Galaxy Watch Active 2 with an iPhone. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all take care.